Okay, here we are. All I've got to do is click this button right here to create my audiobook. But first, you should know that Eleven Labs just got a game-changing update. I'm not exaggerating. The news I'm going to share with you a little later in this video is going to completely transform the audiobook industry in more ways than one. Okay, okay. I promised you an easy peasy to produce audiobook, right? Let's do it. I just uploaded my text file, and now I've got to choose my default voice. This will be the main narrator of the story, so I'm going to use my own voice clone for this because it's trained on some of the best audiobooks I've produced over the past few years. It says this feature is an alpha, so it may have a few kinks left to work out, but I'd like to hear how well Eleven Labs can auto-assign voices to my story. So I'll toggle that on and click Create. Wow, that was done fast. I hit pause on the video, but it only took about a minute. Of course, this is a really, really short story. Let's see how it came out. So I guess the name of your file is automatically added to the top. We can delete that since the title is already included in the text. And I can see over here that Eleven Labs did, in fact, assign some characters for me. But I've got five characters in this story, so it definitely didn't assign them all. But let's listen to the voices that it did choose. You come over here to the settings next to each voice, and then hover over the voice to see the play button. I believe that we are fundamentally the same and have the same basic potential. Not bad. That voice could work. This is my voice, the voice we chose for the narrator, so we can skip that one for now. Let's take a listen to what we got for the old wise monkey. I'd rather regret the things that I've done than the things that I've not done. Oh yeah, that works. Love it. Okay, so to quickly scan what voices were used where, you can hit Command plus A or Control plus A if you're using a PC. That'll select all of the text, and you can see which voices were included along the left-hand side of each section. At a glance, I already see a few mistakes here. For instance, I know the wise monkey has some earlier lines, but it looks like his voice has only been used once down here. Nothing to worry about, though. I'll show you exactly how to fix that in just a second. Oh, how did I do that? Cool. So if you highlight all of the text again and then click anywhere to the left of the text in this column over here, you can see all the text highlighted by voice. The narrator's lines are green and Milo's lines are brownish. And all the colored highlights match the icons each voice has over here on the right. You can also highlight one section at a time by just clicking on the text. I can see that this bit here is supposed to be a random parrot character, and the AI used Milo's voice instead. And we'll need to find another voice for this character down here, but that's all good because that's really easy to change. And I'll show you exactly how to make those simple changes in just a sec. But FYI, for those of you who want my number one pro-level tip, Stay tuned for a little bit longer because I've worked as a professional narrator and I'm going to show you the exact method I've used again and again for the absolute best quality. But first, let's get through the basics so you can take a listen to the result. This first line of dialogue is from a no-name character, so I won't spend too much time picking the voice. If you smile when no one else is around, you really mean it. That works. Same goes with this character. We just need a different voice from the rest of the characters. It is not so important to know everything as to appreciate what we learn. Roger should be good. Gotta be honest, I'm not sure what this override setting button is for. I thought I needed it for the last edit, but this time I didn't, so I might be wrong about that. Anyway, looks like this next line was already set up with the correct voices. Great, let's listen to what we've got so far. Milo the Mischievous Monkey Milo the monkey swung up in a tree, flicking bananas at birds flying free. Hey, watch it! chirped one with a flap and a frown, but Milo just giggled and pelted one down. You're asking for trouble? a wise parrot said, but Milo just tossed him a peel to the head. He cackled and hooted and swung to the sky, ignoring the glares as they fluttered on by. Then Milo discovered a bucket below. A new idea sparked and started to grow. 
Bananas get boring. He grinned with delight. I need something better to cause a good fright. The bucket was filled with ripe, sticky goo. A Sounds good. Let's continue on. Here's where the wise monkey has some more lines, so we've got to make sure to switch from my voice to his voice. So far, we've only had to add new voices, but once we've got all of our voices for the project selected, it's even easier to make a quick switch. Just highlight the text and hit apply next to the voice you want to use. We need a new voice for the leopard, too. The years teach much which the days never know. The birds all gathered. The tortoise crawled near. The leopard just chuckled and said, Too bad, dear. Help me, cried Milo, now stuck to the ground. But nobody rushed or came scurrying down. Okay, I think this looks good. All the characters have unique voices, and we've made sure that each line has the correct voice. That's pretty much all there is to it. And in just a second, I'll show you the secret tool that lets you fine tune every voice. But there are just a few more basics you should know about the Studio Dashboard before we move on. You'll notice as you generate each section that these white bars over here fill in. So where they're grayed out, we've still got to create audio. And look up here as I click between a paragraph that's generated versus one that's not. You get three total generations per section. So use the regenerate button if you hear something you don't like and see if you can get it sounding better. If you want control over every detail, you can certainly generate each section one at a time. Or once you've made sure that the correct characters are selected, you can go ahead and export it. There will be a message here letting you know how many credits it'll take to generate the remaining text. And as you listen to your story, you can lock each section down by clicking up here. That way you can't make any changes by mistake. If you do make a mistake, though, this generation history button might be a lifesaver, so keep that one in your back pocket. I'm thrilled to show you that there's also a speed control function right down here. That's a newer feature that I was crossing my fingers for just a couple months ago. Oh, and I forgot to show you this. See how these voices are named after my characters? Eleven Labs did that for me automatically, but when I added new voices, they defaulted to their native names on the platform, which can get confusing. Here, I can change the alias to my character name, so I don't have to play a game of memory to figure out which voice goes to which character. You can also adjust the settings for speed and volume on a voice level so that they sound more consistent side by side. You can read more about these more advanced settings by hovering over each of them for even more control. Awesome, right? Now it's time for my number one pro level tip. And then I'll share how you can get an audiobook made and monetized for free with Eleven Labs new updates. Sometimes, no matter how many times you regenerate things, you just can't seem to get the sound, emphasis, or even pronunciation that you're going for. That's where the voice changer dashboard comes in. Now, bear with me because I know what I'm about to suggest might make some of you cringe. Because step one of using this incredibly valuable tool is stepping out of your comfort zone and getting behind the mic. But don't worry, because no one will actually ever hear your voice. Say what? Let me explain. This is how you can make any of your characters, or even your narrator, say things the exact way you want them to say it. You record the bit of audio that's not working for you, upload it using the voice changer tool, and then you can transform your voice into any of your characters. Here's an example I recorded last week so you can hear this tool in action. Here's my voiceover. Oh no. How am I supposed to get down now? And here's the converted audio. Oh no. How am I supposed to get down now? Ivy's voice came out using my exact emphasis, speed, and intonation. Oh no. How am I supposed to get down now? Wild, right? The only reason I didn't lead with this tip is because it's kind of a pain to implement right now. Because it's separate from the main studio page where we've done everything else. This means that after exporting your audiobook file, you'll have to manually go in and replace bits of audio with the files you create here. 
But maybe, just maybe, if we pray hard enough to the Eleven Labs gods, they'll hear our pleas and implement this voice changer tool right inside the studio. And if you agree with what a game changer that would be, feel free to flood Eleven Labs inboxes and let them know how you feel. Now, for the moment you've all been waiting for. Hell, it's the moment I've been waiting for, because just as I was starting to produce this video, I got an email with some very exciting news. And here's something I didn't expect. This one new Eleven Labs update makes it possible for anyone to publish audiobooks without spending a dime and without even having to do anything I showed you in this tutorial. Eleven Labs has just launched Eleven Reader Publishing. It's an app you can download for free to listen to audiobooks. Not only that, but as an author, you can upload your books and stories for free. And get this, Eleven Labs will pay you. When users listen to at least 11 minutes of your story, you'll get a $1.10 royalty. Obviously, this means you'll want to experiment with content that's long enough to get those 11 minutes of listening time, preferably much longer. The documentation says that this payment policy is in effect while the program is in beta, so who knows how long that'll be. Makes it sound like this might be a limited time opportunity. But here's what's even more exciting, at least to me. Look at all these nerdy reports you get access to. Again, I haven't tried this yet, so that's why the graphs are empty, but I wanted to see what advanced analytics they were talking about. I was just telling my partner how much I love YouTube's retention graphs for improving my storytelling skills, and how I wished there was something out there to show me the same kind of data about my books and audiobooks. Talk about manifesting my reality. After my eyes stopped bugging out of my head, my biggest question was, okay, so who owns the rights to my story? And good news, I do. You can still share or sell your audiobook wherever your heart desires. You don't have to give away your copyright to participate in this platform, and you can remove your content at any time. So I don't know about you, but I'm going to jump on this opportunity and see what comes of it. The only caveat is that, so far, this is only available in the U.S., Sorry, my international friends, but hopefully it'll be available to you sooner than you know. With that being said, this is by far the easiest, most hands-free method to publishing an audiobook for free. You won't be choosing your book's narrator or even using Studio at all. Instead, the listener chooses the voice they want to hear, and that one voice narrates the entire book. But if you're willing to splurge a little bit for an Eleven Labs account... It looks like you can give your audiobooks all the bells and whistles I shared with you today. Because I'm not sure if you noticed or not when I hit the export button earlier, but now there's another option to publish your work. Here, you can publish to Eleven Reader, and yes, even Spotify, which is another way you can monetize your audiobooks. And here, you can even set your own prices and earn 80 to 100% of your royalties. Yup, my eyes are bugging out again. Did you know that Amazon only gives authors 40% of their royalties on Audible audiobooks? And that's only if you sell exclusively on Amazon. Otherwise, that cut is even lower. Yeah, this is definitely changing the audiobook game. Big time. If you want to take advantage of this opportunity, but don't have a book, fear not. I've been experimenting with some AI tools that make creating long-form content like novels an absolute breeze and I'll definitely be sharing those with you in an upcoming video. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you do it now. Now I'm going to let you in on one more little secret. I already found another way to make 100% passive income with Eleven Labs, and it has nothing to do with books. I set it and forget it, and I'm making money every single day. I share exactly how I did it in this video right here.